Hey, 10635 here and today this is an update with my room and yesterday my mom and I we actually started moving robots out from my room there's a good amount of them that are pretty much gone like there's nothing there's barely anything here barely anything there a lot of plushes are gone um, two of them are missing from there, a few are gone from there. Everything from these two shelves are gone, some is, some are gone from here, a lot's gone from there. Everything here is gone, some are missing, gone, gone, gone. Even from my workbench, a lot of them are gone, even the top up here, they're gone. And let me show you how it all turned out. So yeah, this is just everything that came out from my room as crazy as it sounds yes this is all that came from my room a lot of them are stacked up on each other but that's mostly because my mom doesn't want to waste space in the boxes so we had I had no choice so we had to stack them up a lot of boxes there's rope there at least some of these contain at least four to five no I think at least four layers of robots like this big one over here at the bottom like if i move this guy there you can see armor warrior power destroyer the air power destroyer sentinels and everything and every other robot they're down there i think some of them are laying down like mostly almost all these i see they're all laying down they're either laying on their backs or on their sides and then there's more robots on top of them but to separate them my mom used either some sort of bubble wrap or newspaper to separate them. I know this doesn't look really that good but it does help us save space within the boxes and we did get a lot of them out. And hopefully if everything goes to as planned I should be able to take the uh, entire picture soon because what I do plan doing is all the boxes are in here. Um, I'm going to try and see if I can take them all downstairs to the second living room floor. Although I don't think they would would want me to have these all down there for like for either a week or a month or so, so I'm not too sure. So I guess I'm gonna try and see if I can get these all to the basement at some point. But that's like once my room's completely painted, my bed's back in place, and then we start <clears throat> planning um how we're gonna set up everything. I'm pretty much just gonna take all these robots out from the boxes and just line them up in the basement from tallest to shortest. So then I can do an update picture of my entire collection. Yeah, but actually there's something I want to check here. How are you standing? There you go. Yeah, there's like a lot. Of, well, this one doesn't even have pressure on him. And this one does. There's bubble wrap, so I'm pretty much on. We're also taking a risk that some of these robots' wheels are probably going to get flattened, but. Well, so a lot of these, like the Power Destroyer, I think those kinds, their wheels should be fine. And if his go flat, then I actually do have a spare Power Destroyer that I have in the uh, shed. Oh boy. I'm also trying to keep this room at least a little bit cool so it doesn't get hot in here. Because if it gets hot in here and all the robots that are actually standing in the boxes, I just don't want their wheels to get flat. I mean, Happy Kid wheels like these guys their wheels don't get flat but every other kind that's like old they probably can like the Saturns and all I did have them lined up back behind that box so what I did was mm -hmm. <clears throat> so what I did was I grabbed them all and I just stacked them up a little bit more on other robots just to avoid that risk because there's a lot of these I still plan on making videos on and or and also using them as well so i still want to make sure they have their wheels because if not i'm going to, have to buy even more robots just for their wheels which i really don't want to do that so yeah and then back into my room all what's left right now is just these robots these ones over here anything that's left on the bench these are ones, the Zoids, Badfoot, 
And one other thing is that there's still more underneath my bed. There's either three or four boxes of more robots and then all the ones that are in my closet that are all the way in the top shelf. There's like two rows of them. And to go all the way down, there's some that are actually still stored in their boxes. So it's crazy. I'm not sure how we're going to get these all out and where we're going to put them. Because my closet, we are going to be repainting it from the inside and kind of adjusting the shelves to higher inside of it. Mm, but yeah. That's like, I guess that's pretty much all to this video for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this little update. Thanks for watching and bye.